Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the MTVR channel. And today, we're obviously not working on the MTVR like we should be. Instead, I'm going to teach you how to perform basic transmission diagnostics for your 4L80E, 4-speed equipped trucks, by pulling diagnostic codes. So stay tuned. And for those of you who decide to watch the entire video, I'm going to include a little bonus. Before we get started, I just wanted to say thank you. I never thought I'd have a thousand. Heck, over a thousand folks that subscribe to hearing me ramble about things. Anyways, y'all are awesome. If you're new and haven't already, help a fellow out by liking this video. And uh, if this video helps you, then click and subscribe would be greatly appreciated. Your feedback and comments and stuff help me grow. Anyways, so back to diagnosing. First things first. If you have a four-speed truck giving you some kind of issues, check the fluid first. And if you're still having issues, it's time to check the transmission control module, otherwise known as the TCM for fault codes. They make this fancy little diagnostic tool that can help you, but um, I'm poor. So I'll show you the way we can uh, actually do this in the field. You'll need a little wire, some wire strippers, and a meter most likely, or not. Don't forget something cold to drink. You'll want to start by removing your driver's side rear seat or block off panel if you're a two-door and underneath you'll find your TCM. On the right side here you're gonna find a little connector with hopefully a cover on it. Uh, righty tighty lefty loosey. Twist it off and insert your jumper wire into alpha and echo. You want to come up here, turn your ignition on, and watch your indicator light. You like all my extra keys? I promise I don't drive around like this. Anyways, what we're going to be looking for here is a flash, and then a flash flash. That translates to 12. You'll see it three times, and if you have any error codes, they'll begin to flash three times per code followed by 12 again, indicating code retrieval is done. It will repeat this. In my case, the other day I had a 37 slash 38 code indicating a brake light switch fault, which kept my torque converter unlocked, causing the truck to feel sluggish, rev higher, and deliver poor fuel economy. Um, the guide I'll be pinning in the comment section below will help you in defining your codes and what to inspect and uh, maybe replace. So. Let's talk about my codes for a moment. The uh, 37 and 38. It instructs me to go down and using a voltmeter to check my brake light switch. Now, uh, hold on a minute. My brake lights are working fine, you say. Well, these trucks actually have a dual brake light switch. The right side you see here is for the actual brake lights. And the left side is for a signal to the TCM saying, hey, we're stopping, so unlock that torque converter. Um, the left, which is this plug right here, is normally closed and opens when the brakes are applied. What that means in English is power passes through the switch when you're driving, and when you mash the brakes, it stops that power from flowing and then unlocks your torque converter. So to test it, let's just pretend that this is um, this is still mounted in the truck. This is my brand new and my old one still is in the truck. Kind of hard to work all this one-handed, but essentially you're going to unplug your brake switch and it should read continuity. Um, and I'll move it a few more times to verify it's not out of adjustment because that's possible too. There's a procedure to fix that. And if it's open all the time, like I'm suspecting, then we're going to replace it. So once again, it'll be right here. Let me see if I can get you set up. I think that'll work. So we're going to turn our voltmeter to resistance, ohms. Stick one end in. And the other. way to do this when you actuate that lever 
down, pretending you're mashing on the brakes, it's going to open that circuit. In the process, it's going to close your brake light circuit on these two plugs and actually send power back to your brake lights, indicating you're stopping to the people behind you. So, the old crusty one that's in my truck is actually bad. I've already tested it. I just figured I'd make a video and try to be helpful here. Um, I actually ended up taking uh, this little cross bolt out just so I could be able to move it. And, I mean, it, it doesn't feel good. Anyways, you're going to want to look up the part number 1246-0230 or NSN number 25. 40-01-4100-8789 and here's what it looks like. I'm going to replace it and we're going to go for a drive. Alright guys, so we got a good spot to test here. First, we're going to start off, uh, I've got a little toggle switch rigged up here to help demonstrate. We're gonna start off with a torque converter unlocked. This is how my truck was driving before the repair. You'll notice RPMs will be a little bit higher. Stupid if it works. <laughs> you know, I'm honestly not even mad. This does pretty good. Uh, 
it's not as good as uh, modern headlights, but it pretty well outperforms the stock company ones.